Good afternoon, this is Michael with BackToTheFutureTrading.com and this is another episode of the increasingly growing in popularity Too Hot to Touch Informative Educational Ninja Trader Unplugged. What's all? There are a ton of really great indicators in Ninja Trader's base offering. So when you first get Ninja Trader as a uh, demo user or as a fully vested license owner, you kind of have the keys to the candy store here on the left. And the problem is many people don't realize what level of information they have access to. You see, uh, for example, the CCI indicator. When you load it onto your chart, it's fairly deceptive. You look at that, and at first it looks like an earthquake uh, seismograph. This looks like uh, somebody's house in California, if you sit and watch <laughs> a glass of water throughout the course of the day or week. But there really is some amazing information in here, and I'm going to teach you today how to harness it using some free tools that we've developed for the Ninja Trader community. Okay, so first thing I want you to do, let's kind of pull this CCI indicator down. And uh, both of these tools that I'm going to show you are available in our Ninja Trader Unplugged Dropbox. It's absolutely free and I'll give you instructions on how to download these when we're finished. But uh, go to your indicator list and after you've downloaded them, there's two of them that I want you to find. One is called the EMA Slope Color. And mine is set default to a 120 period exponential moving average and I have the line set to turn lime green when the trend is up and red when the trend is down and I'm using a three uh, a three pixel wide dot when the bar uh, closes so when you do that you immediately start to compartmentalize the market in terms of trend direction you can see when that EMA is sloping down and when that EMA is starting to turn up. And of course today there was predominantly uh, a downtrend in effect. Now, let's go back and pull out another indicator. It's called Divergence Input Series. It doesn't make any sense when you first see it, but watch what it does. I'm going to double click and add it. And then up here I have to tell the indicator I am using a three range chart. Three range on the ES works pretty good for a lot of scalping moves and is a great place to start uh, with the ES. I think it pulls out a lot of the noise from the minute bars and allows us to do some really cool stuff. So in my divergence input series, I have these settings in particular, the most important ones just underneath my price type. I've set the swing points before bars after and bars before to one and the swing point size to nine. I don't want to see the swings, so I've turned it to false. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. Go to the input series and click on it. And when you click on input series, over here a little box appears with some dots on it. You're going to want to click that, go over to where it says indicators, and then scroll down to where you see CCI. Double click it, and you'll see, okay, I'm going to use the CCI 14 period as my input series. And when you hit OK, you'll notice now that the input series parameter is filled and linked to that NinjaTrader indicator we were looking at a moment ago. So now the computer is saying, hey, I'm going to compare CCI values on a three range chart and look for divergence. When I see it, I'm going to plot a down signal when there's downward divergence or downward pressure, and then I'm going to print a green signal when there is upward pressure. Okay? Let's hit OK and see what that looks like. Now, remember what we started with. That got awful craziness right there. But that information, when filtered through the divergence input series indicator, all of a sudden starts to give us a very wide array of possibilities. For example, Here's a couple setups that I want you to look for. Number one, signals in the direction of the trend always tend to be 
the most profitable signals, or at least the ones that move the farthest, the fastest. And so when you see the market coming up into the moving average, and we get one of those CCI divergence input series indications, there's a really good chance it's going to drop. So there's a couple ways to look at where to place your stops and targets. Number one, you can look left and see where the prior swing high was. Prior swing high in this case was just at 2067.5. So if you're going to go short, you would have your entry right around here. Problem with that is now you have to monetize your risk. So you're essentially risking three and a half dollars. General rule of thumb, this is pretty important. Money management is as or more important than any indicator you're using. You want to make sure that if you're going to risk that much, you want to have at least 150% or 200% of your reward, right? And so in this case, if that was what you were shooting for, you kind of want to pull for seven points of reward as a target. So that's option number one in terms of how to place a trade. Option number two would simply be to look one or two ticks above the high of the signal candle, which in this case is 64.75, one, two. Your stop would have been at 65 quarter and you'd have been stopped out. Over here at 64.75, you had a second chance to answer. This is more of a scalping setup. And if that was in fact what you were shooting for, your risk would have been two ticks above the high of that candle. Does that make sense? So you can use prior structure as a stop, going for 150 or 200% of your risk, or you can use now the actual candle body itself, which is one of the reasons why I like range bars, because they're always the same size. And you sort of always know what your risk is going to be, no more than five or six ticks in this case. So again, if we're going to use that as a stop or entry uh, method, 200% of that move would get us two and three quarters points. And so as you kind of work your way down the chart here, and this is right at the open, you can see where your entries might have been. There's a stop out. And then over here, another winner, especially if you're managing your risk appropriately. Three quarters of a point of risk, and so that would be a point and a half reward. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off the chart. And I just want you to see as you kind of work your way off through the session, you're going to see uh, a number of signals along the way. And the ones with the trend tend to be the higher percentage uh, signals. There are, of course, other oscillators we can reference in here. Let me show you what I mean. Let's come in and choose uh, a different indicator. A lot of people, for example, use a stochastic instead of a CCI in terms of watching for moves. And in this case, I'm going to scroll all the way down until I see Stoke. Stochastics and use the NinjaTrader default values. I'm going to hit OK and then OK again. So now when I'm looking at these values, I'm looking at divergence relative to stochastics. So that divergence input series helps me bring out the information from some of the oscillators. One of the ones that I have found works really well is the Fisher Transform. So go back into your indicator list under divergence input series and click on your input series parameter again. While you're in there, use that NinjaTrader indicator Fisher Transform. When you click on it, it's going to come up with a base period of 10. And then you're going to hit OK. I've already loaded it here. If you want, you could even load the indicator straight out of your NinjaTrader uh, indicator list to see where the information is coming from. And so now there's the oscillator. 
And when you first look at that oscillator, you think, all right, there's some good stuff in here. I'm not sure what to do with it. But when you allow that divergence input series tool to work with it, you can start to see where some of those lows and highs are coming from. So as you're trading throughout the session after the open, I want you to see the areas where the market was indicated to have sort of hit a bottom and what happened when we saw that indication. A lot of times it blew through, a few times rather it blew through, but many times those arrows are coming in right before the market reverses and goes the other direction. So the divergence input series tool is really handy in helping us find information that's sort of buried or hidden in a standard NinjaTrader oscillator. And so I'd love for you to explore using that tool we've given you uh, to add that to your trading plan, perhaps. If you'd like to get those free tools, the EMA slope color, the divergence input series, simply go to our website. There's the link up top, backtothefuturetrading.com forward slash unplugged. Type that in. When you get there, you're just going to scroll down. Give us your first name. Tell us who you are where you'd like us to send the Dropbox link to, and then you will be sent an email with instructions uh, where those files are. Simply load them into your NinjaTrader just like you would any other indicator. When you're done messing around with those tools, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about us and how our software is able to use time to predict the future moves of the markets that you're trading, simply go to the homepage of our website or directly to backtothefuturetrading.com forward slash demo to learn a little bit more about what we do when we're not giving away free tools. Thanks again. Remember the markets you trade are not random. Use the Ninja Trader tools that you've got when you first start learning. You're going to save yourself a load of cash and moolah that uh, can go towards your accounts later on as you start to pick up steam and learn how these markets really work. I'm Michael with Back to the Future Trading. Ninja Trader is the most awesome platform on the face of the planet. If you're a demo user, go ahead, jump in. The guys out there in Colorado are awesome, and they're going to take care of you. We love it as a platform, and it lets us do amazing things. I can't wait for you to experience that for yourself. Take care, have a great day, and great trading.